नमस्ते एंड हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू द पार्ट टू ऑफ वाटर ए प्रीशियस रिसोर्स सो इन दिस पार्ट टू वी विल लर्न अबाउट वाटर पोल्यूशन प्रिवेंशन ऑफ वाटर पोल्यूशन वी विल आल्सो लर्न अबाउट स्केर्सिटी ऑफ वाटर एंड हाउ कैन वी कंजर्व वाटर सो विदाउट वेस्टिंग टाइम लेट अस बिगिन विद द वाटर पोल्यूशन सो हाउ डज द वाटर गेट्स पोल्यूटेड so in a very simple way i will make you all understand placing some very simple examples that i think most of you all already know yes so water gets polluted you can see i have written here water gets polluted from the impurities like industrial influence municipal sewage waste generated from the fertilizers pesticides etc so water gets polluted from the industrial influence that are thrown or you can say that are discharged in the water yes water also gets polluted from the you know harmful pesticides chemicals that are used in agricultural work okay and water also gets polluted from the animal dung okay now the sewage pipe and the water pipes carrying drinking water are laid down side by side sometimes if there is leakage in the pipes both can get mixed and it will pollute the drinking water so did you understand this point when the sometimes what happen the sewage pipe and the drinking water pipe is laid side by side okay and if there is leakage sometimes if there is leakage in any of the pipes then the water get mixed and the water get polluted okay so now we will learn about how can we prevent water from getting polluted okay so here are some points that i have written down that how water can be prevented so the very first point i have written down that is the harmful industrial wastes should be treated initially to convert into harmless compounds so the harmful industrial wastes you know the harmful industrial wastes can be treated you know so now here i have written down some points which shows how can we prevent the water from getting polluted so number 1 i have written down the harmful industrial wastes should be treated initially to convert into harmless compounds so the harmful industrial wastes you know it can be treated beforehand only into the harmless compounds and after converting them into the harmless compounds then if we discharge them into the water then what will happen the water will not get polluted number 2 we have excessive use of pesticides and fertilizers and chemicals should be avoided so excessive use of the uh, you know excessive use of the pesticides chemicals and fertilizers it should be avoided okay next we have the sewage pipes lines and the drinking pipe lines should not be laid side by side okay the both the pipes the sewage pipes and the water drinking that is you know the drinking water pipes that should not be laid side by side because if any one of them get you know leaked then what will happen the water will get mixed and it will get polluted so it's better not to place them side by side next we have the animal dung and other garbage can be used in the biogas plants to produce the biogas so rather than throwing the animal dung and the you know garbages throwing the garbages in the water we can use them in the biogas plants to produce the biogas okay so now we'll discuss about scarcity of water so scarcity of water occurs when there is shortage of water so when does uh, shortage of water occurs yes shortage of water occurs when there is number 1 when there is overpopulation okay so here you can see again i have written down some points uh, number 1 is one of the important reason for water scarcity is overpopulation so overpopulation is one of the reason second i have written here water population also causes shortage of water okay so 
water population uh, sorry that is your water pollution water pollution also causes scarcity of water because pollution destroys the quality of water and makes it unfit for use the pollution makes the water what it makes the water unfit for use and hence shortage of water again occurs next misuse of water by excessive irrigation leaving the taps open and washing of the cars with the pipes causes water scarcity so when we misuse the water by excessive using it in the irrigation by leaving the taps open by washing of the cars with pipes yes then also water scarcity occurs next i have written unequal sharing of water between the states and the regions can also cause water scarcity so if there is a unequal you know if there is an unequal sharing of water between the states and the region then also you will face shortage of water and the last point i have written is climate change is also responsible for water shortage so sometimes climate change is also responsible for the water shortage okay so now we will discuss about the conservation of water so as water is the basic essential need and you know water is one of the most uh, important natural resources also right so how can we conserve water we require water in day to day life so it is very important for us to conserve the water so you can see here i have written some points so we can conserve water number 1 i have written water should be used economically and judiciously okay number 2 i have written industrial waste should not be mixed with the water bodies such as the rivers lakes and ponds or you can say that the industrial wastes should not be discharged in the water bodies okay next water can be conserved through rain water harvesting and you know rain water harvesting is one of the very you know effective uh, uh, you can say it is one of the effective measures for conserving water water can also be conserved by following water conservation methods in agriculture such as using drip